This item has broken the Roblox Islands economy, and here's how. Now, I'm just going to be going over a basic item what has broken the Roblox Islands economy, and I'll be going over three items what I think have broken the Islands economy the most in the past three months or so. Now, we're just going to go over the classical one, Pink Sticky Gear. Now, a Pink Sticky Gear, around three months ago, went for 2 million coins, and now is at 11 million coins. And now, that is a 9 million coins difference in three months. That is just insane in my opinion. And now we just have another one, what is a classical one, it's a treasure chest. It was at around 12 million coins around three months ago, and now sits at a whopping 70 million coins. Now that is like a 58 million coin difference in three months, but it's just broken. Like how did that happen? And now for the tier two voting machine, what has been through a lot with dupes and stuff, it started at 35 million coins three months ago, and now is at 200 million coins each, and I just saw it at 250 50 million coins at a published shop. So that is like a 200 million coin difference. And now that's just the surface of the Roblox Islands economy these days. As you can see, there is only like five shops what actually have over 20 people in them nowadays. And now there are around 3,500 people playing, what is low, but it's not that low. There are only a little bit amount of people and usually a bunch of noobs at the bottom of the list. But I'm actually going to go to some of these shops and actually show you what the prices and stuff on how everything's changed. But before I do that, go subscribe to my second channel where I'm going to be playing different games. So go comment on one of those videos and tell me what games to play. But now, back to the video. Alright, so we're just going to go to this 2000 vending machine shop. But yeah, as you can see, they're selling pink sticky gears for 10 million coins. And now I think some reasonings from this is that a lot of people actually quit the game when they announced that they'll stop updating and then a lot of people actually quit the island's price guide where there's no one really updating it anymore so people kind of came up with their own pricing therefore everything just started going up. But like, comment down below and what your thoughts are about the island's economy right now, what do you what do you think about islands and stuff like that. All prices have to be changed like every single day nowadays, like there's no stable pricing anymore. But yeah, we're not going to talk about the one month break I had, I was kind of sick with COVID. But yeah, go ahead and watch this video right up here if you want, um, if you're still confused on what's happened with the island's updates. And yeah, I'll, I'm going to be posting more, but go sub to my second channel so that you can see random game content. And yeah, but goodbye.